I never know for sure. Good to see you. You too. I'm, I'm a pain in the ass right from the start. No, you're not. You're <laughs> a great man. Did you have a good ride from Missouri? Oh, you came from Springfield, came from Illinois. Springfield 74 was so rough. Really? The straps flew off the car. We had to move the car back over. I bet you Lima go 74. I bet you Lima Land will be smoother than 74 I tonight. <laughs> Your dad your hero growing up or? oh 100 he was he was yeah, it for my, you my, my dad my dad russ wallace uh, dad won about 400 features and uh i always tell everybody you know if, if your dad's a fisherman or a hunter you intend to be a product of your dad so my brother rusty wallace mike myself we raced because my dad raced as a hobby uh, and he was good at it and, and we enjoyed working in the race shop every night getting ready for the next week so Dad raced because he had three boys that could, you know, work on the race car. That's interesting. Speaking of working in the race shop, you were telling me the other day that you're often in the race shop all day alone. I guess I didn't expect it. I thought you had a mob around you at all times. Uh, but I guess that's some good quiet time. When sometimes you get your best thoughts and best ideas when you're alone in the shop with your own, you know, in your own head. Yeah. So to speak. We, we all have an image, you know, and when that, you know, there's an old saying, it's, it's not me because I'm not a hero, but there's just that old sense that says, be careful. Don't get too close to your heroes. They'll disappoint you. So I had this person that found my address, and he, and he drove up the hill. And by God, he was going to take videos of how much help Kenny Wallace has got. Never forget this, my hand on a Bible. Guy rolled up, and uh, my garage door was open. He looked. I said, can I help you? because my shop is at my house and he he looks at me and i'm like hello and he goes uh said one thing he goes where's all your help i said uh it's just me i i, I do everything myself and and the guy started arguing with me i mean one of those moments in my life where i was like this guy wanted to try to explain to everybody you know, why why i was competitive because he's got all that NASCAR. It's like, you know, people got these horrible images, you know, it's like, so last night at Eldora, Jonathan Davenport won $1 million, but his, he's got the biggest sponsor in the sport. His car owner is Lance Landers, owns a lot of dealerships. So money is money. You could own a plumbing company and be, you got that plumbing money, construction money, you know, lawnmower money. You know, you work for a living, you make money, and you, and you work on your race car. So, so yeah, that image of me having help is um, it's a lie. It's just me. Well, you only got two guys with you tonight. And they're weekend help. Yeah. So Ryan, uh, the young kid, 21 years old, he's a great race car driver. He, uh, Ryan uh, is, is a good race car driver. His car's not done yet, so I'm able to have him help me. Now, Frankie, we call him Jughead. Jughead is my constant. When everybody's gone, Jughead will be there for me. And he, he's, he keeps me company, and he'll put gas in the car, keep the battery charged up, and put tires on, and, and that means a lot to me. helps me. You know, I've had, I've had cortisone shots in both knees. i got two torn tendons, and I'm old. I'm fit, I'll be 59 years old in August. So uh, I, enjoy, I enjoy what I do. I enjoy racing an old dirt car is this this seems more fun to me the dirt modified thing as opposed to the pressure of nascar yeah. and corporate america is it more fun oh yeah but it's all about you know bill Elliott one time said to me herman it's all about timing and circumstances so so when i was young i wanted to be a nascar cup driver who doesn't i mean it's a dream and i made it and then me and dale Earnhardt jr always joked about you know when our careers were over you know going back and so uh, that's what i'm doing right now this is my last year racing all over america are, are you I sure about that yeah I mean, oh I, yeah is this like a retirement tour for you yes then? yes really I'm, yeah this is it i'm done i thought you won like four races this year haven't you 
I got a better one for you. I've won five races and I'm leading the national championship over thousands of drivers. I'm number one. See, I thought you might be re-energized, so to speak, to no, maybe keep no, it going a few well, more. That's just like when Fox, Fox had me back for the cup race in St. Louis. You know, there I am on national TV announcing the race. We did the pre-race show and had 5,000. Everything, everything was a success. And, there, and, and then Marcus Smith, the owner of Bristol Motor Speedway, Charlotte Motor Speedway, owns all the tracks, Sonoma, and he goes, Kenny Wallace, we want you back on Twitter. And I said, uh, you know, humbly, wholeheartedly, not a chance. I'm done. You know, I don't want to, you know, I'm tired. I do all, you know, see, I operate at a high level. My car, I work on my cars. It's the only thing I know. I, I try hard. And when you try hard and you work on your cars, it takes it out of you. And, you know, there's hardly any free help anymore. So I'm just not going to, I'm just not going to spend $40,000 a year on help. How, how are you going to? fill your days I mean you have it figured out are you gonna stay home and watch television <laughs> kick your feet back and and I know what you're gonna keep doing you're gonna keep doing your YouTube videos which I love by the way I hope you keep doing them anyway so um, retirement's not in my vocabulary you know uh, my brother Rusty Wallace my brother Mike Wallace Rusty's got a great motorcycle company him and his son Steven you can see the logo on my car Southern Country Customs we're getting ready to go to Sturgis in August, uh, we got Bike Week at Daytona. Got a friend that's got an airplane, he's gonna pick me up, we'll fly out there. Me and my wife wanna visit all the national parks. We- uh, Now that sounds cool. Yeah, we're, we, have, we wanna see all the national parks. Um, you know, we wanna, we wanna enjoy life. I love racing, I'm not mad at racing, it's awesome. But it's, you're really done after this year. Well, I've, I've told everybody a hundred times, you know, like this would be my last time to Lionel Land. It's a 16 hour round trip drive. You've raced here before though. Yes. Okay. And you know, it's eight hours from St. Louis. I know. You know, the GPS goes six hours, 15 minutes. That's <laughs> if you drive straight here and don't stop for gas or eat. So uh, it's it's a it's a long way. And uh, this is my last year traveling all around the United States. Next year, uh, I got a nice pickup truck and a small trailer and uh, one of the best tracks in the United States is 15 minutes from my house. Is that I-55? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so if, if my brother Rusty gave me some advice, he said, Herm, he says, whatever you do, don't quit cold turkey. He said, I quit too soon. So what, this traveling took me took me down. But you might do a local show here and there oh, every yeah. now and then. Yeah. Yes. But Yeah, are you gonna have to make some major league adjustments? 
Uh, we're not gonna do anything right now. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch. All right. I'm gonna watch and then watch and then we'll see. Yeah, I race back at home. I'll be racing. Hopefully by the end of this month against them. So uh, what, are you on a modified then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Where yeah. Peevely or Peevely, uh, Granite. Uh, them two are the closest tracks to home. Got it. Your home but, is St. Uh, Louis. Yeah. Yeah, I'm from St. Louis. But uh, you follow Kenny around wherever he goes. Yeah. I've been helping him out. You know. Uh, That's cool. Getting a new car, so it's not done yet. So I've just been traveling up and down the road with him. So, cool. Cool. It's fun. Yeah. Have you ever won a race at Peebley? Yeah, I was actually in 2020. I was the uh, track champion. Really? In uh, our class, I was. I'm the division below, which is called a B mod. These are A mods. I got um, it. So uh, I'm, I'm yeah, looking so at the 2020 I-55 Peebley modified track champion. Yeah. That's cool. Something in your uh, a recent YouTube interview or a video that I watched that you didn't earn whatever wealth you have in racing, you you earned it yeah. in, in land and real estate. Right. Is that right. how it happened for you? Right. So, you know, because I didn't win in Cup, it shocks people that I have a lot of money. But but my, you know, I want I want to help people. So I'm what they call Missouri frugal. It means that uh. You'll never see my last dollar. Anybody in Missouri. So uh, all the money I made in NASCAR, I saved it. And then I bought 12 rental homes. I nurtured them for 14 years. Really? Made money off of them. That's smart. Uh, what? It just Listen, just because I'm happy doesn't mean I'm, I'm crazy. Just because <laughs> I'm happy. Well, you know, you got to be careful because you'll find most comedians are extremely smart. They know all about, you know. The reason they're good at comedy is because they know what's going on in the world. The people that are wise understand. So, um, yeah, and then uh, invested my money in the stock market at 19000 and it's 32000 Do the math for yourself. So, um, you know, I've got CDs that are layered. When one expires, the other one starts. we got annuities that were started years ago. We, you know, we've got bonds, mutual funds, the whole. I got a great investor. Guy named John Scatoni, north side of uh, Chicago. Now the reason I don't mind sharing it is because you know we see this in football. You know where these athletes make all this money and then they're broke. You know because that's not going to happen to Kenny Wallace. Well, it didn't, and yeah. it's not going to. So my career's I don't spend I don't spend any money anyway. I don't need any money. I don't yeah. do anything. Yeah. You look at the car. It's my sponsorship. So those sponsors pay for this. So. Yeah. Yeah, Roger Penske taught me years ago. If we don't got a sponsor, we don't race. It, you know, I already, I already sat. I, I'm old. You guys are young. You guys work for a living. You spend money on your race car. I did that. 1986. ASA. I was broke 24/7. I did that years ago. So now we don't do that no more. Yeah, but you were wise with your money over the years. I wanted to ask you about what, what's your level of respect for Ken Schrader? He's my brother. Uh, you know, there's Rusty and Mike, Rusty Wallace, and Mike Wallace, and then Kenny Schrader. Kenny's the one that says, hey, you know, years ago he goes, uh, you tell everybody you're my brother, and he bit in for it, and, and he is. And Kenny was there for me when I was a kid, when I was just a child. Though. He wrote, you know, taught me how to drive a car down in Licking, Missouri. That's where his mom and dad had some land. Took me out the middle of the field, put me on his lap, and I drove the car truck around, and, uh, He's been there for me through thick and thin. He's really helped me a lot in my life. We we share a lot. And I think Kenny Kenny says this, I don't say it. Kenny's way better than me at racing, but he says we're equals and I, I don't agree with that. So we always call each other and we bounce things off each other.
Timeland. Good job, bud. Well, you know, it's uh, it's another racetrack around the United States. These are some of the best racers around. And that, that kid's really good. He's in he's in UNOH College. He's, he's going to be a great race car driver. He keeps following you around. You are normal. Fill up gas. Get the charger on it. Late in your career as you are, is it as much fun to win a dirt modified race as it is an Xfinity so NASCAR I, race? I, so I stay humble because this, I won, a couple weeks ago I won 100 A mains. So I just stay humble. I'm happy to win. I like to win. And uh, so, you know, it's never a deal like, oh, I don't care about winning anymore. I like the process of doing this. I just enjoy the process. So, uh, you know, it's gratifying that I do, you know, as you can tell, I, you know, with the help of Nick Hoffman, guy builds my motors, we put all the pieces together and I drive it. So yeah, we just, you know, a night of the dirt races is a whole movie. You gotta practice, qualify, gotta win the heat race, then now they're gonna redraw the top eight. So it gets tougher. Not here, Don. It's all at Del Dor. Sorry. Go to KennyWallace.com though. There's a link there. Let's go right to KennyWallace.com. When you get a chance, do you have time for a photo? Yeah. All right. Thanks for running my shirt. No problem. Big fan. Is racing going to survive going, I don't know, looking 10, 20, 30 years down the road? Well, I'm a product of Saturday Night Live. So racing's going to shut down. There'll be no more racing. Everybody's going to die. They're going to live underneath a bridge in a cardboard box. That's what's going to happen. NASCAR's going to shut down. All racetracks are going to shut down. Racing's not going anywhere. However, I preach PMA, positive mental attitude. See, we create these expectations. So years ago, we had 250,000 people. Now we only have 100,000 people. That's still a lot of people. <laughs> so everybody's on their cell phones now. People have got apps. They're watching dirt racing on their apps. Nobody goes anywhere anymore. They stay at home and they watch it on their app. Get fat. Eat the food right on your couch. Get if, fat, have a heart attack, and die. You watch TV at night? Do you care about stuff like that? You watch TV? Do you I care wake about up in the morning, I drink coffee, and I watch I watch headline news with Rob and me. That is about as neutral as you're gonna get. But I'm smart enough to think for myself. What's your favorite food? Well, I'm a pretty good eater. I like McAllister's Deli. I like a chicken salad sandwich and a nice salad with balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Tea, I like my tea half and half. Half sweet, half little sweet. Favorite music? I love all types of music. I love, uh, you can find George Jones on my, uh, my phone. You can find Red Hot Chili Peppers. You can find Dua Lipa. You can find Patsy Cline, Loretta Lynn. ACDC Metallica. That's a widespread there. Right, right, because see, see, <laughs> I'm worldly. I fit in anywhere. Is Kyle Larson the best driver in America right now? You know he is. That's why you're asking. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest of all time. Kyle Larson's the only person that can get in a wing sprint car and win the World Outlaw Race, and he can go to Eldora and win against Jonathan Davenport. Yeah. You know why? Because he's done it. Yeah. yeah, he's he, a legend. He's pretty good at it. Listen, thanks for your time. Thank I, you. I, I've gobbled up enough, I'm sure. You're Do you fine. mind if I shadow you a little bit tonight? Just I like for people to know everything they can about me because I try to help people. There's too much negativity and too much depression. I give motivational speeches. You're, you're I try just, to get people to believe in you're themselves. You're just a guy I've been looking for for the last I 10 get, years. Well, there's a, yeah. lot, a lot of people that don't believe in themselves. Well, Or their mom and dad roughed them up and they're a product of their environment. Yeah. So, uh...
objective in racing is to race. <laughs> so that was a good race. We saw plenty of it. Yeah. It looked like a rough ride to me. Yeah. You tired? I'm always tired. <laughs> I'm tired all I'm tired when I wake up. <laughs> I'm, I'm old and tired. I'm done. You did a great job. It was a great race. It was a great race. Yeah. You guys driving home to Missouri tonight? No, in the, in the, in the, in the. Terre Haute? Yeah. Okay. I'll get all that. Hey, sure. I win every race, you know, I win 100 races a year. <laughs> Ain't that right, Ryan? What the hell? I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Um, I'm here because of Ron Colley. We lost Ron. This is his beautiful wife, Chris, son. And uh, I just want to thank you all for being here tonight. Um, he was a wonderful man. We had more fun on the golf course. We, we cheated more than anybody on the golf course. <laughs> but uh, sorry I couldn't win the race. But anybody have any questions about Danic and Patrick or Dale Jr.? <laughs> Let's get that shit out of the way right now. <laughs> so, I do all my own work on my car and I have weekend help. And that's just the way it is. So, I don't have people. And uh, so, that's what you saw. Ryan is a great race car driver. He wins a lot at home. And, and, his, and, his, and his, car, his car is not done yet, so he's helping me. So, uh, hey, I want to get a picture of us real quick. Then I got a couple more. Yes. <laughs> she wants you to sign it. She said the bottom. You're putting the bottom. No, I'm not. If you put it on the side, I'd to go to Starbucks. They'd be like, Kenny? Great job, Kenny. Thank you, beautiful. What do you want me to do? Hey, what? What do you want me to do? Forgot to put the point in there. <laughs> okay, race fans, something's missing here. This is pretty embarrassing. We forgot to load the four wheeler up. <laughs> Where did we finish tonight, everybody? Third. Is that a good? Do you need anything else? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah.